I might have bought the most ridiculous boat motor that they sell on Amazon. In these boxes right here is what they call an electric outboard motor brushless motor marine boat engine 21 volt thrust transom mounted saltwater electric trolling motor with LED battery indicator and electric drill powerful outboard engine. So today we're gonna be testing that. So the first thing that this package comes with is this case, which I believe is our 21 volt cordless drill. In this case, it looks like we got ourselves just a typical drill. We got some tools with it, that's pretty cool, check it out. We got sockets, we got some drill heads, 188 volt or is that 18.8 volt not really sure but we got batteries and then it looks like we have like a knockoff dewalt drill look at that first things first for 150 something dollars you got yourself a cordless drill so from what i understand it's basically just a shaft with a transom mount it's actually pretty decent quality i'm assuming there's just a bearing in here oh shouldn't be flinging stuff around right now and I'm assuming this is what mounts to the transom. Man, I gotta put all this stuff together. Oh no, this, what in the heck? I'm actually really impressed with the quality of this stuff. It's actually metal and not plastic. The prop, probably need that. Directions, are they gonna be in English? Probably not. They actually have English in them, but we're not gonna use those anyways, so. So I'm assuming this just mounts onto this clamp like this. So the prop goes on, put a pin in right here, I think. As long as that thing stays on there, that's all that matters, right? That goes like that. A thing, bada boom. Now we just gotta add our drill. Just like that. We have ourselves the ultimate weed whacker boat motor. Look at that thing. Well, let's go whack some weeds, what do you think? The fence needs whacking anyways. Look at that, it's got more than one use. Uh-oh, we got a couple of daisies on there. All right guys, we gotta go try this thing out. How do we plan on getting this thing up here? Are we gonna put it up here? That's really our only option, isn't it? Money. All right, so we're loaded up, we got our motor. We'll see you guys at the river. So we're gonna be testing this boat motor out in this creek here. But the downside to this creek is it's literally in the middle of a field for a bunch of rodeo bulls. <laughs> and these aren't cows like meat cows. They are literally rodeo bulls. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Buddy, I don't know, some about this just don't seem right. I don't wanna know how much bull doo-doo is in this river right here. So, <laughs> I think he wants to go with us. So we're gonna mount this thing to the transom just like any outboard motor. All right, we're gonna give this thing a go. Here we go, turbo drill from Amazon. It's really hard to control, and I don't see the battery lasting very long. I would imagine, how fast do you think we're going? Two miles an hour? All right, I think, I think we need to do a true test here. I think we gotta take it fishing. All right, so we are here on a big lake. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can use this for a full day of fishing. See if we can catch some fish for you guys, but also test this to its full capability. You can do it almost one-handed with the way that it mounts. I'm actually really impressed. We're going way faster in here than we were at the ranch, and I think it's because of how deep we can get the prop in the water. So this is one of my favorite lakes to fish. Let's see if we can catch some bass. Alrighty, folks, it's been a while since we fished here on the channel. Got the GoPro rolling. Can I get a rod? Oh, you're, you're taking my swim bait already? Give me that thing back. <laughs> I had the, the, the property back there on the other side of the lake. There's like another pond. Yeah. yeah.
pre-spawn bass. You gotta love it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, dude, that was in like two inches of water. Yeah, dude, that's a that's a toad. Dude, that's a toad. Dude, that's a toad. <laughs> <laughs> T. <laughs> He's short, but that's that's close to five pounds all day, dude. Here he goes. Your fish, you take him. That's sick. <laughs> so we've been on the lake for about an hour. This is actually working really well. Earlier we were in a shallow creek and I thought it was not really worth it. The only thing that I don't like about this is the fact that my finger hurts after holding it for so long. But look at the transom mount holds it down for me. I'm one hand just chilling. The drill's not even getting hot. We're running the same battery that we ran hours ago at the ranch. I might have to give this thing the check. I can't believe I'm saying that, but this would be a great tool to have if you just want to keep it on the boat for like safety reasons, if your motor dies. Maybe you live on a lake and you just want a simple way to get around. 150 bucks, you get a drill, two batteries, a charger, and the propulsion shaft, whatever you want to call that. So we're going to keep going. We're going to fish until the battery dies or until we're stranded. You guys see this log over here? Eat me, eat me, eat me. That's not the one I was talking about, watch, ready? <laughs> See that one that looks like an S? I need to get up by that log. Dude, you've changed the logs three times. Hold on. All the logs look good, bro. <laughs> I know there's a bass in there. <laughs> oh, yep. Told you. I told you there was one in there. Boat flipper? Are you going to? You want to help? Oh, yeah. Coming in hot. Ready? That's a that's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Sorry. We out here catching them on the top water, flipping them into the boat. Almost three pounder. You're a trash. What are the odds I can get? You're a trash. You just caught a five pounder. <laughs> I feel like we need to. Ooh. Do you see that? Yeah, dude. Let's get up in there. I honestly can't get over how impressed I am with this thing. If you guys are still watching at this point, I might actually recommend this as a product. The, oh, the battery just dropped from full to one. Well, I literally spoke too soon. It just died, like, as we speak. What's crazy is these batteries, they don't even get hot. Like, not a stitch. So one battery down, locked and loaded, ready to go again. Look at that. Got another full battery. Let's see how, how long it goes, I guess. I knew they oh. You got it? Alrighty guys, well, it's been a heck of a day. We spent the whole day with the drill motor. We still got battery, the sun's going down, and we're gonna end the day on a nice three pounder. This will probably be the last fish of the day. We're gonna pack it up, so let's get back to the truck and we'll talk to you guys about my overall thoughts on the uh, drill motor. Hey babe, what do you think about the new boat motor? Well, now that we're off the water, $165, you get a drill that's brushless, two big batteries, and a way to move around on the water. Not too shabby. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching.